You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour. Again, or I think it's our final day without Dan, though. Pretty I sure. Think so. Pretty sure he'll be back uh, next week. That is the plan. So, uh, but I've got uh, something that that I'm excited to do here. Uh, our friends from Sioux Falls Fun Page. Uh, we've got the this day in Sioux Falls history, and today. Oh, first of all, I got to say, yesterday I got a call right after we were done talking about it because I was saying it was 50 years ago and it was 1972, and then I got a call and they're like, "What year is it, John?" It's 2023. <laughs> How many years ago was that? I'm like 51 years ago. So, <laughs> oops, sorry about that. A little, you know, quick math on the fly. Uh, this day in history, though, uh, again from our friends at Sioux Falls Fun Page, January 27th, 1890. I'm not going to say how many years ago. <laughs> track laying between the cities of Sioux Falls and the newly founded town of East Sioux Falls, which was six miles east, one mile south from the Sioux Falls border. Starting off as just a stone-cutting operation by Sioux Falls residents C.W. Hubbard and his company, Sioux Falls Granite Company, the demand for workers would leave to a blossoming population in an unofficial township known to locals as Ives, after the Iverson family, who were the first family of pioneers to live in that area. The town would officially incorporate and name themselves East Sioux Falls in August of 1890, and would swell to the size of, guess how many people, Heidi? How many people, John? 577. Oh, my goodness. But then they had a steady decline after the financial panic of 1893. R.F. Pettigrew and his associates pursued the building of a local railway line to ferry residents to and from East Sioux Falls for work, pleasure, and outings. The line would begin regular service on June 21st, 1890, and would be wildly popular for about three years with many Sioux Falls residents taking day trips and picnics out east. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? It would. Yes, it would. So that happened uh, January 27th, 1890. They laid the tracks between the city of Sioux Falls and the newly found East Sioux Falls. So six miles east of here. You drive by East Sioux Falls when you're going to Grand Falls Casino. Right. And there's a little spot, like kind of a little bit of a curve in the road. You'll see where that is. And there's a place out there called Iverson's Crossing. And I believe that's uh, right where Ives was, the 577 Very, people. very cool. So, very fun stuff. I, I'm a big fan of history. So yes, I kind of nerd a out a little bit. History buff. So big thank you to our friends at Sioux Falls Fun Page. You can find them on Facebook. And uh, it is this day in Sioux Falls history. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Super excited to visit with Chris Tonto Peranto. He's going to be in Sioux Falls coming real, real soon. Chris, how you doing, sir? Good. Actually, uh, I'm doing well. You're taking a few break. I just uh, I tore my quadricep tendon and quad muscle a little while back, so I was in the middle of therapy. So honestly, it was a nice break. Nice. Therapy's not fun. Not now, fun. Knee we, repairs are not fun. Well, <laughs> we've had you in Sioux Falls in the past. You do an, a phenomenal yeah. job. And I remember last you. time you were here, I think the, the book had come out not too far yeah. before that. And I think the movie had just come out 13 hours of the book. And then the movie uh, yeah. had come out. Now you're back and uh, going to be speaking here. And I'm looking at the calendar. Friday, March 3rd. It's sneaking right up. And if people want to get tickets, I'll tell them how to do that here in a minute. But what are we going to be talking about? at the event that's coming up in Sioux Falls. It's, it's you know, it's, it's, I, it'll be a little different than the one back then. I'll tell you what, back then it was, it was a little, I was, I was a little angrier, to tell you the truth. It was still relatively <laughs> new what had happened. And I, you know, I, I think I had some reason to be, but I've let a lot of that go. I, uh, and, and with the help of God, of course, I have. So I'll, I'll go, God will definitely be part of the speech. I think God needs to be talked about more in, in speeches in, in public. And so faith, speech, overcoming adversity, and, and, and continuing to honor Tyrone Woods, my two teammates, Tyrone Woods and Glenn Doherty, and, of course, Ambassador Stevens and Sean Smith. But, of course, Glenn and Ty, especially since I, you know, I, they sacrificed everything so I could come home. And I think that still needs to be talked about you know, until, until the day I pass away and then hopefully the next generation carries it forward. 
Absolutely. Now, the uh, the talk this time is Crucible of Crisis, Values in yes. Action, Resiliency in the Face of Adversity. And uh, that is a pretty deep topic to talk about. And I see we got a little bit of time to chat about it that night. But how in the world do you boil it down and get all of this into a talk? <laughs> A lot of practice, yeah. <laughs> a lot of, just a lot of, and a lot of trial and error, but military, uh, that's, that's what we do. You know, you, you, you try away and if it doesn't work here, you, you review AR is what we call it. You AR yourself you, or you review, you go over what you did wrong, right. And you, you, you fix it. And so it fine tunes it and that's how you do it. And I think anything, just being a speaker, uh, at least in my opinion, like anything else is if, if you want to be a good one or good at anything, you have to practice. Oh, yeah. And that is something in the generation, maybe the generation right now doesn't understand as well as they probably should, but hard work definitely pays off and it pays off anything. If you want to be good at anything, you have to work at it. So that's what how it's been done. It's just a lot of repetition of me and also just going through the speech in my head and, and then also a little bit of trial and error, try things at different places and what works and what doesn't as far as talk when you lose people, when you don't, and then fine tune it until until it becomes a, a very fluid speech. And, and that's uh, something that, I, you know, as a public speaker, I, 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 you have to do that to make sure that, of course, you're resonating with the crowd in front of you and, and at least they're getting something out of it. I definitely do. It's very therapeutic for me to talk about. It. I, 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 so I'm getting something out of it on a, on a selfish level, but I want to make sure those there get something out of it. And, and that's really dealing with adversity. And, and giving examples of what I've had to go through, not just Benghazi, but prior to that, of how I built up that ability to overcome adversity. And that's what you have to do definitely just to become a ranger, just to, just to go through ranger school and yeah. everything else. Uh, so uh, it is, it, it, it's just something that's trial and error. But then when it comes right down to it, the presentation has to be something that, that people can interact with, they can feel, and they can go, wait a second, I, I, I've been through that before. Maybe not combat, but something of adversity that I've done through that, gone through that. I know how I can overcome it now and getting through an obstacle that may be hindering them at this moment in time or something down the road. It's got to stay positive. And that's one thing with the speech has changed quite a bit is that I don't get in the negatives too, more, too much anymore. It's, it's yeah. about being positive, overcoming adversity, and, and you know, letting God take the wheel when, you, when you're having those problems that you can't get. Through. I love that. And, and that is something that is important because it's, it's pretty easy to get kind of negative and, and down. And yeah. right now, more than ever, yeah. boy, we, we just need to think of the positives and find a positive solution to some of the things that people are going through. Because, again, you could be very angry all day long, easily. Just turn on the news. They'll tell you everything you want to be angry oh, yeah. about. <laughs> yes, sir. That's, and you know, that's another thing. I don't watch the news anymore. I, that's, you'll, that's why you don't see me. Uh, not that they don't ask. They do, uh, the, 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 the mainstream media and the big media networks. But I don't anymore because that's what I saw. And I facilitated some of that. So I was even doing my own ARs on myself back in the yeah. day. And then, am I bringing something positive to the table or am I just, really just getting out there and being angry and sensationalizing things and, and making this big story to just uh, how angry I am, or am I making something positive about it? And also remembering Tyrone and Glenn and honoring them. Being angry doesn't honor them. Telling Absolutely. about their life and telling how they, they gave of themselves to sacrifice of themselves. John fifteen thirteen is a great verse for that. Um, but how they sacrificed themselves and gave of themselves so others could live even though if there's some negative, of course, they lost their lives. But in state, it is positive because that is what sacrificing God wants us to do is, is yeah. to give for others. And that's what they did. And that's what the speech really goes to that direction now, more so than the angry direction that it used to go. Well, I am super excited. We're planning on being there. It's Friday, March 3rd. It is at uh, a place in Sioux Falls called, well, it's hosted by the VFW Post 628 and Auxiliary, and it's at a place in Sioux Falls called the South Dakota Military Heritage Alliance uh, on uh, Russell. And I'm going to throw a link so you can find it. And on that link, you'll be able to click and buy tickets as well. Chris, thank you. I look forward to seeing you here real soon. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me again, and God bless you, John. Have a great week and your weekend coming up as well. Absolutely. Again, Chris Tonto Peranto in Sioux Falls, Friday, March 3rd. All of the details at Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio and Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less 
less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. And now stuff Dan finds it is time for stuff Dan finds interesting, but Dan's not here. So what do I find interesting on what this do you free find fla- interesting? Friday? Well, first thing I find interesting is uh, it's fun to give away stuff. Dan always gets to do fun stuff around here. I know. I get to just sit over here and push buttons like a monkey. Uh, <laughs> today, I get to give away, and I'm going to try not to mess it up too much, a flag from our friends at Maximum Promotions. And you get the flag and the hardware to hang like right on the house, the whole thing. And our winner is a, for a 3 by 5 flag. Steve Butterfield. Oh, nice. I like Steve. He's a alien from Alien and Company. Yes, he is. So congratulate, and he's a veteran, so he'll probably. Yes, he is. I bet he'll choose an American flag. Uh, maybe he'll even hang it down at Alien and Company. Steve, we will be uh, getting in touch with you to get you all set up with your American flag. If you have not yet had a chance to win, I would love for you to sign up today. I'm going to click on here and tell you exactly how to do it. Go to sunnyradio.com. Then you're going to see a thing here that says click here to win tickets and more. When you click on that, it'll take you to a different page. (laughs) And on there, you scroll down, you'll see Free Flag Friday. That's where you register for that. If you go up a little bit, you'll see Thunder Road Thursday. We do that uh, every Thursday. And we've got some other really cool prizes we'll be giving away this coming Wednesday. We've got the Res Gen Men's Summit, which is coming up uh, first Saturday of February. And we've got uh, Date Night Comedy with Ted Cunningham and Paul Harris. It's Thursday and Friday, so it is uh, February 2nd and 3rd. But the tickets we're giving away are for Thursday. I think Friday is, if it's not sold out, it's real close. Okay. So if you would like to win, that is what you do. Go there and uh, click away and have some fun. Uh, Here's what I'm going to spend some time talking about right now. I am super excited for tomorrow night. Going to see Night Ranger for like our yeah. 13th time. We're big we, fans. We are. We We've love seen Night them. And, and it's just so cool uh, each I and every time. I forgot that was coming up already. Yeah, it's tomorrow night Snuck at Grand Falls me. Casino and Golf Resort. Here's the thing that's really neat. Uh, when I talked to them early in the week, they were like 95% sold out. So if you, I don't know if they still have tickets or not, but if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, I would hurry up and do it because it'll probably be sold out tomorrow night. Uh, again, it's uh, Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort, and we've got some friends that I think are going to meet us out there, and, and uh, we're going for sure. I get to be the MC. I'm so fortunate to get to do that. I love, love, love that. So uh, if, you, if you're going to the show, wear a Sunny Radio shirt. That would be really cool. I would love that. And then we can find you. Yeah, and I'll come and give you a hug. <laughs> and if you don't want me to give you a hug, you just push me away, and Heidi will give you a hug. <laughs> so, no, I'm, I'm excited. It's a ton of fun. And uh, we've got some other great shows coming up at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort in the very near future. Uh, and I'm not sure. I've had people ask, are you giving away tickets for Little River Band? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't typically find out about that until they call and until, say, hey, let's yep. do this. We haven't had that discussion yet, so I don't know. Little River Band, Saturday, February 18th at the event center at Grand Falls. There's a John Denver tribute. This guy's name is uh, Ted, and I can't remember what his last name is, but he is. he looks exactly like John Denver. I mean, exactly, and he sounds exactly like John Denver. He's been doing this tribute for quite some time, like 2006. He won a contest as like a, the best lookalike, and it was a bunch of different bands doing different lookalike things. Anyway, because he looks just like him. And he sounds just like him. He won. So uh, they're going to be doing a John Denver tribute at Grand Falls on the 19th of February. And then into March, Croce plays Croce. A.J. Croce is the son of Jim Croce. And uh, celebrating 50 years of his breakout success with a huge, huge album. Uh, So that's going to be kind of a neat thing. And we're working on lining up an interview with AJ. And I'm excited to visit with him. His dad was such an amazing musician. And he does a really neat tribute to him. And then... Comedy Weekend was just announced. Williams and Ree, Friday, April 28th, and Whitney Cummings, Saturday, April 29th. And uh, super, super excited for that. Williams and Ree are always so much fun. They're like a local favorite around here. And I've never seen Whitney Cummings before. I've seen her on TV, but I've never seen her in person. So a lot of fun stuff. So we got many exciting things happening at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort. If you'd like more information on any of that, 
GrandFallsCasinoResort.com is the website. Are you excited for tomorrow night, Heidi? Very. I am as well. And I hope to see you there at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort for Night Ranger tomorrow night. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Friday, January 27th, 2023. The Q4 GDP came in at 2.9%. That's a tenth hotter than expected on strong labor conditions and consumer health. The takeaway is that the underlying strength in the economy is supporting activity among the S&P 500 companies, but also inflation. The recent downtick in inflation is good news, but may not be sustainable given the economic strength. In this light, the market's expectations for only a 25 basis rate hike at the next FOMC meeting might be misplaced. The entire outlook could change today upon the release of the December PCE price index, which is expected to confirm the downtick in consumer level inflation, but the data will most likely be mixed. While year-over-year comparisons will cool, inflation is expected to have accelerated on a month-to-month basis and may come in hot. In this scenario, the odds of a 25 basis point hike will crater, and the S&P 500 could fall with it. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.